guys. Welcome back to my channel. I was just reading my Bible. You know, if you want your home to be blessed, you need to get yourself a prayer plant. This is literally the only plant that's going to intercede on your behalf to God. And I'm going to tell you all about it on this very religious edition of Plant Facts. Plant Facts. Prayer plant is also known by its scientific name, Maranta. Uh, it used to be known as Maranatha, which means come our Lord. But when all the scientists became atheists, they decided to not let it be named something so on the nose, so religiously on the nose, you know? So it's just another Christian trying to keep its Christian words in the world, you know, and constantly being derailed by these heathens who just won't let it be. It was a Maranatha, you know? And all it really wants to do is save your soul. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? The prayer plant loves light, as you can imagine it would. Um, sometimes, if you listen to its still small voice, you can hear it saying, Morning has broken. Uh, in the, in, at night, it, it raises its leaves, and then in the daytime, it lays them back down. Uh, so religious scholars for many years have debated, as they love to do, um, whether it raises its hands in praise in the evening or whether it outstretches its arms in surrender and worship during the day, or both. There's three schools of thought on that. Um, but the prayer plant, uh, we're not sure when it prays, but 100%, we do know one, absolutely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, it prays. Now, I know a lot of us aren't pastors or priests or what have you, um, but the prayer plan, as far as watering goes, really loves to be baptized. And none of that just like sprinkling holy water on it or something like that, you know, it needs its soil to be soaking wet in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? Um, and, and please, don't even attempt to water it with holy water. It'll ask for chapter and verse where the Bible talks about holy water. It'll really challenge you. It, it doesn't, it, the prayer plan is not Catholic. It's, a, it's an evangelical Christian. Okay, so the Maranatha, or sorry, Maranta, loves soil, which is actually just composted prayer plants. I know that sounds morbid. It likes to be planted in other prayer plants. Yeah, because it really truly believes in ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And it wants to like, like literally be planted in the idea that all life is temporary and it's just our souls that matter. It's our souls that go on. So it kind of loves living in that sort of metaphor. Also, if you want to dust the top with some sand, uh, just because it loves the poem, Footprints in the Sand. But Jesus answered and said, It is written that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4. 4. Okay? The only way for your prayer plant to thrive is for you to read scripture to it, okay? You know, it's not going to be able to maintain its relationship with God, grow in Christ, and intercede on your behalf if you don't edify its spirit with the gospel, okay? It just doesn't work that way. Also, a multi-purpose water-soluble fertilizer helps as well. Guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Ring that bell. Give me some comments. What, what would you like me to talk about? What plant facts would you like to learn? Um, did I miss anything? Uh, get yourself a prayer plant. Get a prayer plant. They, they really, they will pray for you. Um, you can't ask them for things like a uh, Monstera Albo. But you can request the peace that passes all understanding when you can't seem to get rid of those spider mites, you know? Um, it loves worship music. You want to put on some worship music? I don't prefer worship music, so I just put it on like an iPod and throw the earbuds in the 
soil, that seems to work. Um, this variety is lemon lime, but there's many different varieties. The one variety has these uh, very striking red veins going through them, which of course um, represent the blood of Christ. This has been Plant Facts. Bye.